Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I haven't been filming, uh, although I have been up doing stuff, just trying to fit things in. Uh, but today is a very special day. It's a celebration of my mum's 50th birthday and Nana's, my mum's mum's, 80th birthday. So we're going over to Hailing Island to have an awesome day. Uh, we're all not dressing up, but we're all making sure we look presentable and neat and tidy. And um, yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to film today or be able to film uh, slash want to film just because of the privacy. I respect the privacy of my family members, but you never know. You never know if you don't go. Are you looking forward to this? Yeah. That doesn't sound very genuine. Too hot. It will be hot. Ellie, it's England and it's summer and global warming happens. Oh, I cry. Yeah, I have to do a couple of things uh, before we leave, such as... Um, I don't actually know. <laughs> um, uh, I want to show Ellie some of the music that Ollie and I have been doing. But I can't do that until Ollie's out of the study. Uh, which will be when the shower's working again, uh, which is probably going to be in 10 hours' time because the pump's broken. It's not my fault, is it? It's not your fault, no, it just overheats. Oh. It's a stupid shit pump. Feeling fancy, feeling fresh. Pink is the colour. And uh, we're about to set off. And we're back. Um, I didn't film anything today. Like, like, literally. <laughs> Going on. Like, this is meant to be a daily vlogging channel and I haven't filmed anything. I wonder why that could be. I'm too awkward and too shy to even attempt to try and vlog in front of my family because I'm too embarrassed as to what they might think. I will find something interesting to talk about now, probably tomorrow, because I've drunk quite a lot today. Sorry, as you can tell. Well, probably can tell. I'm kind of wavy. And so is Ellie, but she still wants to drive to get McDonald's. <laughs> You will wave. See, she's waving. Um, yeah, I'll find something interesting to talk about now. So, say hello to Tom tomorrow. Okay, so normally when it comes down to this, uh, whereby I mean, like, I don't uh, do anything in a day and I have to talk about something, or not have to, but I want to talk about something to actually bring some interesting topics to the channel. It tends to be me finding interesting news articles, whether that be stuff I find interesting or stuff in my field, um, and to do like with the environment and science and the kind of things that I learn about at university. Um, I tend to look at stuff like that. And um, first of all, let me excuse the bags under my eyes. That is ridiculous. As you'll see in tomorrow's video, I work very, very hard. So I deserve the bags. The bags are mine and I adore them. Well, I don't adore them. They're not great. Um, yeah, I normally uh, go over news stories, topical things that are quite interesting that I, I hope will bring in some views to the channel. They don't really do that, um, but I like to think they will one day. But this time around, um, because I know one, no, because I know that no one's going to watch this, um, I'm going to try and uh, talk about me. And it's kind of weird to be doing this because there's a lot about me. I'm 20 years old um, and I've had 20 years of experiences and, and such, but I wanted to talk about my, uh, like, YouTube, what I'm kind of doing, what I wish I'd done, what um, what I regret doing, things like that, and just mush it all together into one big lump, uh, and try and get my emotions out as well, because there are some things I, I am uh, emotional about, uh, and some things that I hope for the future I can improve on. I have no doubt that I started YouTube at the wrong time. Um, at the point where I started, I think it was about four years ago when I started uploading just vlog content, I was too young to realise there had to be a proper MO to what you're doing. There had to be a, a real object. You had to have something really unique about you to be able to pull in views. Um, and I started by just talking about me. And I guess that hasn't changed. This is just a, a daily vlog that I do uh, to entertain myself and, and keep a diary of my, my year. Um, but I, yeah, I never had anything unique in my content, uh, which meant that the only people who'd ever watch my videos would be my friends, and uh, I guess that's how most YouTubers start anyway, uh, but it meant there was no unique creative force behind driving new ideas, new interesting stuff that people go and look at, and uh, that kind of slumped me also, uh, and like I feel that that definitely came from my age. Uh, I mean, four years ago, I was an immature 16-year-old. Um, I like hadn't grown up in a, a like I didn't grow up for a while, as uh, as you'll be able to tell if you go and look back at my old videos. But I was definitely too young uh, to 
probably, uh, and I, I didn't have a, a job or anything like that. I, I couldn't bring money in and, and create interesting stuff. And that kind of leads me on to where I, where I am now. All the stuff in the last couple of years when I've had more of a, uh, an ability to do things, um, like I've had more freedom, I've been at university, I've had loans to get some money in and, and do stuff, uh, whatever. But I've never had a drive to do anything with it. And uh, I've done, like, the problem is with me, I'm very lazy. And I, whenever I go on a big holiday to a new country uh, to do, like, to have new experiences, I always record as much as I can. But the fact is I'm happy to do that, and, but then it just takes me ages to edit anything because I can't be bothered, because my computer can't edit quickly, efficiently, it lags, it takes me probably three, three, four times as long it, uh, it would take uh, to, to edit a video uh, than it would take with a, with a decent PC, not even a, a great PC, just a decent one. Um, as a result, I have, to, I have to edit if I'm on my PC and record and editing like proper vlogs with my big camera and my GoPros and such, I have to edit on like Camtasia ridiculous for this day and age, I mean it's 2018, I shouldn't be using Camtasia anymore. As a result, I do have a couple of like creative, cool videos I quite like that have never gone out. Um, I went on a trip to Morocco, uh, I have a video of that that was half made and then I realised it had been a year since I'd been and I didn't want to upload it anymore. Iceland, uh, I, I went to Iceland, I had two videos, uh, I have two videos of Iceland, I finished one and then I haven't finished the second, and that was two, over two years ago. Um, I went to Kenya and South Africa with my brothers last year, and um, I edited a South Africa video, but I never edited the Kenyan one, and I'm about halfway through the Kenyan one, one as of this stage. I haven't done it in about two months, and that was over a year ago. So, And I like putting them up together. I, I'm not going to put up the South Africa one until I finish the Kenyan one, but I, I'm just not bringing myself to do it. So, uh, and like there's also a bunch of vlogs in Cardiff and such, things I've done with Ellie that I just haven't put out because I, I haven't had an easy way of doing it. That kind of transitioned into me wanting to do gaming content and that's something I've wanted to do for a while but obviously my, my PC hasn't been uh, decent enough to, to properly do that. that. Although when I was younger I, I seemed adamant that getting a PC uh, really would help me out if you don't if you want proof of that you can go and watch on on my robin is real channel you can go and see my getting a new pc vlog uh where i was so excited about it but to be honest it, it was an amazing pc hence its price and um yeah i did i ended up just up wanting to do gaming content uh, but never having the capability of doing so and that's uh how jack and i started the rattlers was uh, we realised you can make decent enough content all through the Xbox, um, especially on GTA, they have the Rockstar Editor on, on the Xbox and that was like for a couple of years now. Um, and whilst we couldn't compete with people who were doing it on PC, such as Tom Matthews, um, Hampyro, uh, Mine and Drive, they, uh, we still managed to make good content to the point where they praised us heavily like really they really liked what we were doing and we were just doing it on xboxes and they were really impressed by that and um like the content we were making was brilliant but <sighs> the thing is jack and i have a lot of uh differences in, in in like how we designate time to things and i was really really motivated to be doing this gaming content probably because of the attention it got us from bigger, more influential people who, who actually enjoyed what we were doing, such as, especially Tom. Like, Tom was fantastic to us. Uh, la it was last summer when we started talking quite a bit, actually. We talked to a bunch of the guys. We started joining in on their live streams occasionally, just appearing in, um, in Discord, uh, playing stupid little games like Quiplash. And it was really good. We'd found a new gaggle of people who, like, albeit we couldn't play proper games with them, but we could still interact and we'd have a good time. And they, they seemed to want the drive to help us out. Um, and obviously we wanted to do that too, but... Jack, and I, I, I'm definitely uh, not taking away any blame from me because I was at university. My time schedule was up and down off the charts. Um, and as I say, I'm quite a lazy person, but Jack is often quite hard to get a hold of. And we'd often record full episodes of things such as GTA or um, Rocket League. 
Jack never found the time to, to edit it together because he, he had a better computer than me. I, if, I, if I recorded everything and uploaded it, then Jack could then have my footage and, and um, edit it, which meant he had more of a crea uh, creative influence. But, um, but he was happy to do that, and uh, we talked about it loads, and he was happy. Um, but in the end, it just meant that, it, well, he didn't have the, the, the drive to do it anymore. And if you go on the Radless channel, it's been a long time since we uploaded. It really hurts me because I want to be with that group of that group of people. Um, like Tom Matthews has finished has finished university now. He's now got this time to be able to create these amazing ideas and go out and do things. And I'd love to be a part of it. And if we'd continued with the drive and strength we had at the start of last year, when they noticed us and they brought us into their group of friends and they wanted to do these big projects, we had ideas for amazing projects. Um, but we just never, never got the drive through. Um, it's just a shame. I really wish we could do that, and I won't be able to uh, now. I miss the Radless channel so much, but we're not doing anything with it. Um, I barely talk to Jack anymore. I don't know what, what he's doing, whatever. But I'm, I, whenever we mention the Radless, we're always like, yeah, 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 we'll do something, we'll do something. But we never do. So um, I'm not sure what's actually happening with the Radless anymore. So it kind of drives me to create my own content. Uh, I would like to start doing my own gaming content on my own channel on uh, Robin is Real, I think is where I'd do it. Um, uh, but that means I need to buy a new PC. And that is probably something I'm striving towards. I mean, I get quite a bit of money loaned to me in the next year. Uh, some three and a half thousand pounds at university. I'm really good at saving money. money. Uh, to the point I've, I've managed to like build up a savings account of money from my loans I haven't spent and it's, it's now at like a grand and if I can do that next year I can I can get myself a decent PC and I can start making amazing gaming content not amazing but I can start pushing myself to do this, this stuff and actually uh, create and who knows it might help me get in with this with the group of people that I really liked again Tom Matthews, Hampyro, uh, Minor Drive, those guys, they were really good fun and I really want to, to do more with them uh, but I don't think they even remember who we are anymore, it's got to that point. So it's something I really want to do, I have the money, or I have most of the money, <laughs> I really want to just pay for a PC but then all my money's gone um, so I'm not sure what to do. Uh, it's definitely something I want to, to push myself to do, and uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a shame because I really thought I had something for a moment. I didn't want this to be a sad video, but um, it ended up being quite emotional. I, I don't know what I'm going to do from here on out. I have to finish my dissertation this this summer doing my research and stuff and such if you if you keep, if you're keeping in contact with this channel you know I've had some dissertation problems up and down but it's all sorted now I'm officially as of recording this video starting my my uh, my survey tomorrow I've set it up uh, I set it up in tomorrow's vlog and then the day after that I'll actually be doing all of the the, the adventures and recording and such which you can't see mu much of but I'll, I'll try my best to bring you something of that um, so I've definitely got stuff to do but once I'm back at uni I know it would be my third year but I'd love to be able to be doing this fun stuff uh, stuff that I am maybe not knowledgeable about but I'm definitely interested in and I find fun I've never been that big a gamer I'd like to bring myself to be and I'd like to to push myself to create and I'd like to meet these cool people who who I did meet uh, and I wish they'd remember me uh, so yeah um, that is the story of me on YouTube so far and uh, I'm very happy with like don't get me wrong I'm very happy with myself and I enjoy doing these daily vlogs as, as, as much as no one watches them they are fun and they're what helps me get through a day uh, most of the time anyway when I do record, unlike today's vlog, that's why this is such a heart-to-heart -heart, 
Um, but I do enjoy doing it, and I like having that record of what I've been doing for people to watch, mostly me, and um, it's good, and it's good for me, and it helps me uh, mentally stay sane, I guess, because I have to be this happy persona, and a lot of the time people pretend to be a persona, and it hurts them. I don't think I pretend to be happy. I think it vlogging makes me happy. If anyone took the time to watch this video, um, I'd like to say thanks because, uh, yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> uh, it was a bit of a drag. Uh, I mean, it started off so promising with me going to my mum's birthday and then nothing happened. And then I ended up with this giant weepy talk, but, um, I hope you have enjoyed. I'm going to stop talking now and round up the vlog because nothing else uh, to talk about. But if you have enjoyed, yeah, like, comment. If you want to see uh, my life and my dissertation, my university life, you know, I've gone over half a year daily vlogging. That's pretty mad. Uh, you should subscribe and join my family of 17 subscribers, which probably includes one of my channels at some point somewhere. So yeah, uh, see you guys tomorrow for the next daily video. Until then. Stay safe, have a good one, and um, do what you love.